Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God, hallelujah. First, I must greet the Holy Spirit, which is the head of my life. Greetings to your chief apostle Nish. Greetings, school of prophet. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, glory be to God, hallelujah. Oh, glory to your name, God Almighty, most blessed and eternal God and our heavenly Father, Jesus, as we come before you this evening, God Almighty. Father God, I pray, Jesus Christ, that you strengthen me, God Almighty. Give me the spirit of boldness, Jesus Christ. Help me to deliver the word that you want me to deliver, Jesus Christ. Speak to me, Holy Ghost. I welcome you, Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, I give thee thanks. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Our lesson is taken from Psalm 70. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and confused that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back words and put to confusion that desire my hurt. Let them be turned back for a reward of their shame that say, ha, ha, ha. Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. And let such as love thy salvation say continually, let God be magnified. But I am poor and needy, make haste unto me, O God. And thou art my help and my deliverer, O Lord, make no tarry. Hallelujah, glory be to God. This is a, a prayer of David asking God to make haste to deliver him from the enemy. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Our um, topic is, why is it important to pray? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We pray for help and deliverance. When we pray, it brings us closer to God. So we can have a good relationship with him. Sometimes God show us in vision and dreams what to pray about. We need God covenant and protection over our life. So that's why God give his angel charge over us to protect us. Meaning he gave them a commandment to protect us from harm. In Psalms 91 verse 11 said, for he shall give his angel charge over us to keep us in all thy way. Exodus 23 verse 20 said, Behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and bring thee into the place which I have prepared. So, amen. When we pray, God sent angel to do his will. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Why is it so important for us to pray? It is very important because we are living in a physical world and there is also a spiritual world. That's a lot we cannot see. There's a lot we cannot see. We have to pray for protection from the enemy. The enemy don't want to see God's children prosper. So they try to stop God's children. So we have to pray because the enemy is out there and he's trying everything he can to stop us from prosper. Look at Daniel, a man of God, pray three times per day on his knee at his window overlooking Jerusalem. 
the enemy did not like Daniel because he prayed to his God every day. So the enemy caused some of the people to be jealous of Daniel. His position in, in the city. He have a very good relationship with the king. So they get jealous. The enemy caused them to be jealous of Daniel's position and his relationship with the king. So they make a decree that the king should sign it because they know that Daniel is so dedicated that he would not stop praying to his God. And that would be an easy way to get rid of him. When Daniel would not stop praying, they threw him into the lion den. The king know that Daniel served a very powerful God. He said to Daniel, the God whom thou serve certainly will deliver thee. So even the king, even though the king did not believe in God, he also prayed with faith and don't even know that he was praying. Pray for him and say that the God that he served will deliver him. Hallelujah, glory be to God. But God sent his angel to close the mouth of the lion. So when we pray, God will send his angel to save us and guide us in his way. Saints, we all know that there is a spiritual world out there. And I heard that people that are in different organizations, that is not of God. When they go to their church to pray, they will pray for some time, two days or more before they go back to their house. And if you are going on a fasting, a 21 day fasting and they wanna block you, they will go a day before you and a day after you. So when you do 21 day fasting, they do 23 day fasting. That's how dedicated they are in their prayer. So it is very important for us to pray. First Thessalonians 5 verse 17 said, we must pray without ceasing. Also, always in communication with God. When we pray without ceasing, the enemy don't stand a chance with us because we are always in communication with God. And he is sending angel to fight on our behalf. In Psalms 119 verse 62, David said, at midnight, I will rise up and give thanks unto thee because of thy righteousness and judgment. So David rise up at midnight to pray and give thanks unto God. So what are we doing? We need to rise up and pray and give thanks unto God. Philippians 4 verse 6 said, Be careful for nothing, but in everything, let your requests be made known unto God. James 5, 16 declare that we must pray one for another. He said to confess our fault one to another that he may be healed. 
So when we pray for healing and deliverance for each other, we should confess our fault, then pray. Sometimes a person might be praying for something, but that person prayer might be blocked. That angel might be fighting other thing, but when someone else come and pray, that person got deliverance. The enemy did not see that coming. So the prayer went up and the angel could help on that person behalf. Look at Daniel again. His angel got held up by the prince of Persia. So God had to send another angel to help him. So many may, so many, so maybe that, so maybe that person angel got held up and would have to, and you would have to lend them your angel. <laughs> and uh, I'm just saying, so the Bible said, we should pray for each other. First Timothy two verse eight says that we should pray everywhere, lifting up our holy hands without wrath or doubt. That tells us not to pray with doubting. Ezekiel pray without a doubt because when the prophet told him that he is going to die, he turned to the wall and pray and begin to pray. And he got 15 more years on his life. God hear his prayer. We also pray for direction. When David and his men lose their family and their position, they would, they want to stone David to death. The Bible said in Samuel, 1 Samuel 36 verse eight, that he, encourage himself in the Lord and sought solution. He pray and God give him direction and what to do. He asked the Lord, should I pursue the enemy? And God said, yes, pursue them, overtake them and recover all. God has said he know what we need before we ask. In Matthew 6, 5, verse 8, the Bible said, And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogue and in the corner of the street that men that they may be seen by men. Verily I say unto you, there had their reward, but when you go to God in secret, he shall reward you. So you don't need to go. You don't need to be standing in the synagogue and praying that long everlasting prayer for man to see you. God see you and he already know what you're gonna pray about. Hallelujah, glory be to God. He shall reward you openly. So, hallelujah, glory be to God. So when you pray, praying, for people to see you because you are not praying to man. You are praying to God and God know your heart and what we want to pray about. Jesus prayed to his father in heaven 
he also teach his disciple to pray. When we pray, it is a protection against evil. Prayer is a weapon that we have to fight the enemy. When we pray, we should pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because I heard again that there is three Jesus in the Bible. So we have to pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And also, when we pray, we have to pray with faith and believe that God hear us. Mark eleven twenty four 24 said, therefore I say unto you, what, what things soever he desire when he pray, believe that he receive them and he shall have them. So when you pray, you should always believe what you're praying about and God will give it unto you. You cannot pray with doubt or fear. You have to pray boldly and believe what you're praying about. Hallelujah, glory be to God. You're ending at my few words in Jesus' name. Glory be to God.